Well, it is a great honor for me to uh, be here and uh, to introduce uh, the keynote speaker this morning. Uh, I'm going to begin with some of his words. People who are not in love are irresponsible. A town that is not in love with itself is irresponsible and civically apt to make mistakes. Responsibility is a cold duty. It inspires no one. A citizenry is incited to action by the eros of mutual care, by having a common object of love, their city. A town that is not in love will cut corners, lose sight of the common good. It loses sight of the common good because it has lost sight of what is commonly beautiful. And the beautiful is not landscape or cityscape or architectonic. The beautiful is what people have built in the spaces between each other, a reciprocity, an exchange of ideals, and a shared vision. Creativity is our only language for the spirituality of the times. Shared wonder is as close as we get to communal worship. The shared community that art represents is the disarmament of ideology and special interest. Uh, these are the words of our keynote speaker of this morning, poet laureate of Toronto, Roman Catholic priest, man of letters, imagination, joy, and passionate love for the city as a place of communion. He was born in 1949 in Italy, grew up in uh, Toronto, Montreal, and Baltimore. He is the author of over 20 books of poetry and essays. Uh, Dennis Lee, who was his predecessor as the Poet Laureate of Toronto, says that his poems are heroic. Well, his poems certainly are compassionate, penetrating and full of life. He is a graduate of the University of Toronto, first of all a BA and then education and then divinity. Uh, I had heard about him and uh, I had read some of his poetry and liked it. Sometimes it appears in the odd newspaper and uh, places of interest. Uh, and then when my son-in-law, who was an architect here in Toronto, uh, gave me his most recent book, uh, Municipal Mind, I read it on the plane back to Calgary and I phoned up uh, Ted and Catherine as soon as I got home and I said, this is the guy we need to be the keynote speaker for the opening of this day. Uh, because I was inspired by his love for the city, his joy of cities and their buzz, if they have a buzz at all. He put into words and feelings the, that I've had for years about the cities that excite me the most and those are New York, Chicago, and uh, Toronto, and I knew that a crowd such as this needed to hear him because he expresses in a very poetic and literary way what I think faith and common good is all about. Oh yes, uh, sustainable cities need to be responsible ecologically, economically, socially, politically, and all those kinds of things but they are not humanly sustainable without a creative spirit of the common good among their citizens. So I invite you to Google his name uh, on, on your computer and read some of his poetry in the background because it's, it's quite an amazing career and quite an amazing piece of work. Uh, lastly, I, I think I, I want to say this. Uh, Father Giacicco uh, uh, officiated recently at the funeral of a much-loved uh, chief city planner of the city of Toronto who died in his early 50s. And I talked to some people who were at the funeral. The church was packed. And uh, I talked to some, I live in Calgary, so I, I wasn't there, but I talked to people afterwards and they commented on his eloquence on his inclusion of everybody there who loved this man and his ability to express hope in the midst of deep sorrow. 
And the, the comments that people made were just, I've never heard anybody speak about that in those ways, about someone who was officiated at uh, such a, a sensitive time. So I believe that um, he challenges all of us to care about the cities in which we live, their stress, their complications, and their crises. And his talk about the ecology of heart is extremely timely, I think, for the times in which we live. So I can't tell you how delighted I am to invite you to welcome Father Giorgio De Chico. Toronto the good to uh, Calgary the what? <laughs> Co Colin, uh, Colin often uh, he's the director of the EPCOR Center out there. He's often jokes about uh, Calgary getting its own poet, not not laureate, but lariat. <laughs> the city council's voting on it next month. Is that a fact? Well, that's right. I read about that somewhere. You know. Gosh, how wonderful to see so many. How did you get up so early to come out in the rain? There must be a room full of people that care. God bless you for caring. The last time I was here in this room, I was 21 years old, and I was playing a romantic lead in a restoration play called The Imposture. I think it was right here. <laughs> So uh, I'm still imposturing, uh, and uh, but I'm delighted to, uh, delighted to uh, to be here in this room uh, <coughs> and uh, with you. And after an introduction like that, God bless you. Thank you so very, very much. It always makes me feel like I sure hope I'm up to the to the job there. And it always makes me feel a little bit guilty when uh, people talk about uh, my love for the uh, for the city. Especially when I, uh, to get here, for example, I just drove down through 40 miles of urban development and urban sprawl and GTA madness and traffic and, and traffic lights. Why do they put two or three in a row like that? <laughs> Makes no sense. It's like regulation for the sake of, uh, of regulation. So I'll do, I'll do, uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to generate this, uh, the element of, uh, of joy and, uh, and hope that you so kindly uh, talked about, Ted. Um, I really am delighted to, uh, to, uh, to be here with you, um, and especially because the organization that sponsors this and that you're with uh, calls itself Faith and the Common Good. Um, can you hear me? Yeah? Yeah? Let's, yeah? Let's see if there's this is a funny little thing. We've got preferred. Uh, this is, here's the volume, so I've got the volume. Yeah? Yeah. Let me put this here. Okay. You can never have too many elevations. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, so this uh, faith in the common good. Thank you. Um, because everyone here knows that faith and the common good have everything in common. Uh, everyone here knows that one that faith manifests itself through the common good as an expression. And the common good is an expression of faith, and that faith at its most active presents itself in the public realm that is healthy and in a society that is caring. 